Well, hello, Irene Smith here. And today we are back at the apartment on the Labor Day property. You can see when we go outside, all the various interesting and uninteresting, I don't know, it depends on, on how interested you are in an outside celebration. But anyway, now this seems to be sticking for a change. I don't know why it wasn't and now it is, but it does seem to be staying. And I've seen, I'm not the only one who has had problems with that. I've seen lots of people complain about not having the uh, finish on something on those platforms when you come back into the game. And yet so far, Fingers crossed, so far it's been fine. Only the first time did it get messed up, which is weird in, it, in itself. Now we're getting closer to being done. I am going to <clears throat> finish the first floor apartment in this apartment building. And when we're done, we are not going to sell. I was planning originally on selling this property. But what we're going to do is we're going to finish that apartment. And then on Thursday, means in two days, we will come back here. We will do a, in the meantime, I'm going to do some decorating things that I haven't taken the time to do so far. And we will come back. And when we come back, we will do a final tour through the entire property and sell. And after we sell it, we will start a new property. I don't know if we'll stay in House Flipper 1 or we'll go to House Flipper 2. But that's my plan. So I made a few minor changes uh, in the downstairs since we were last here. For one thing, I opened this up. There's no longer a wall here or a door. For another thing, I did the same thing over here. I made this, oh, sorry about that, folks. I made this into a hallway. And it still leads to the same location it did before. But we've got our laundry room here. We've got the storage room here. But instead of having doors and doors and doors, there's just the one door on that. And back here, where you first come in, we have the entrance to apartment number 11, the first apartment on the first floor. So let's go inside and take a look around. When you come in here, you'll find, I've already done some of the work. We've got the uh we've got two couches and we have a big tv we have a kitchen area and over here i'm not done here yet but over here we have a keurig machine and some k-cups and through this door we have a bathroom fairly good sized one with a nice tub and a sink and so on um no shower, no tub, tub only. But <clears throat> rather than what I usually do, which is putting a toilet paper dispenser on the wall, I have the standing dis dispenser, which actually is a little bit similar to what we have in our home. The difference is that it, well, it's just how you put the toilet paper on the, on the holder. But uh, make it easier. Okay, in real life, it makes it easier because you don't have to install it on the wall. And there we go. Over here, we have our kitchen. We have some plates in a drying rack that were washed in the sink. We have, this is the Count wooden set. And um, I think it, it looks very nice. We've got a counter over here. 
where they can sit and have breakfast. I don't think I'm going to bother with a dining room on this house, on this apartment. I like what I have. And this is going to be a master bedroom. And perhaps I, I'm torn between making this one large room that has an office area in it and making it into two rooms and having an office and a uh, bedroom. So I'm going to stop the recording for a moment. Well, besides, our friends Matt and Merck are not here right now. And they should be home soon. So, oh, and the other thing I wanted to point out was something that I find rather weird. Look at the size of the design on the wall and compare it to the stack of wallpaper pieces. If I would prefer that the design be the size it is on the wallpaper, stack of wallpaper, than as large as it is here. That's why we only did one wall in, in, in with the wallpaper. I think it's too much. I would love to see it this size. I think it would look so much nicer. Besides, it's distorted here. Anyhow, let's get rid of that. We don't need it anymore. And this room is done as far as I'm concerned, other than decorations, which, as I said before, I will be doing between now and Thursday. So I'm going to pause. Be right back. Gee, I was hoping that Matt and Merck would come. Oh, oh. hi, Merck. You're sleepy. Sleepy. Oh, that's oh. a shame. You know, Paul and I are working on, on Halloween videos. Ah. We're working on a Halloween video this year. Is there anything you want to tell us? Uh, no, we're leaving it as a surprise. Oh, you're going to have to watch Matt's channel. Ooh, we can tell you that the, the Galaxy Quest video script is done. That's very good. You know what that means? It means it's coming out sometime this century? Yes, finally. We, it'll be before the turn of the century. Are you excited, Matthew? You won't be a million years old. And hey, my question hmm? is, yeah? what, what's the name of Matt's channel? Uh, Film Snob Sums? Something like that. Come on. Come on, say it right, Mark. Uh, some Film Snobs. Some Film Snobs. And they can find Matthew's movie reviews there and they're called and they're called you rat forget. snobs ah rat snobs yes good you room oh i remember oh. i remember and i like yeah. matthew's reviews they're very good so please <laughs> check them out ladies and gentlemen i'll put a, a link to his channel in the comments that's nice yeah well now, you know uh, what we, we work together right yeah now what do we always say what do we always say that the crow is a very good movie and is maybe even underrated. I could go with that. I could go with that. But there's something else that we always, always say. And oh, that oh, 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 is uh, chocolate, chocolate for Mark and chocolate, chocolate for Allie. Wee. That's it. Yay. Thank you. I want to go to bed. Me too, buddy. Me too. Okay. Well, <laughs> don't run into the door. <laughs> Okay. Watch that nose. Oh, oh that was that was <laughs> much more careful than usual. He just wanted to be That's cute. good. He just wanted to be really cute. Well, he is cute. Yeah. He's a cute I'll see boy. you guys later. Goodbye. Bye. 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 I took the room that was one huge room and added split it into a hallway and two smaller rooms. And the one at the end of the hall has already been decorated as an office, although the game doesn't seem to think so. I used my favorite color, purple, shades of purple and lavender. Don't know why that looks so red, but it doesn't really matter. This picture on the wall here is uh, of the games that I created that were Years ago, you could have found them in uh, Electronics Boutique, if you actually remember Electronics Boutique, or Kmart, which is also gone. Hmm. I wonder if there's a pattern there. Anyhow, um, this is an office 
which, as I said, is not ex accepted by the game as being in office. I don't know if the size is wrong or what it is. But what we're going to do now, I still have to pick a color for this hallway. And what we're going to do now is this is going to be the master bedroom for this apartment. And I'm not quite sure what color I want to put here, but I'm going to think about it and come back and we will paint. So this is the color for the bedroom. It's called, I can't believe I forgot it already, called Blue Crayon. So it should be a bright but light blue. Yeah. I think that looks nice. What do you think? I I actually really like it if you told me in the comments. Yeah, that blue is really nice. I like that. Or, my God, what's wrong with you, lady? Something like that. I love to hear from you. It really... I have to admit, I, I kind of feel like I'm alone here sometimes. I love to hear from all the people who watch this channel. Maybe it's just not controversial enough. As I said at the beginning of this video, we are not going to sell this property today. When we're done today, um, between now and Tuesday, I'm going to make a final, oh, come on, cooperate. I'm going to make a final decoration pass on this property. I'm going to add all the goodies that you should have in a house. And uh, some pictures, some accessories, all those kinds of things. And we're going to make a final tour through the entire property, property, all the buildings, not just this one, but the restaurant and the um, over by the stage area where we have the bathrooms, the public bathrooms. We're going to go through it all and we're going to take one last look. And when we're done with that, then we will sell. And when we're done, oh, shoot, wrong one. When we're done, um, we'll, as I said, we'll sell, but we'll also start something new on Tuesday. Not sure what it will be, whether it will be House Flipper 1 or House Flipper 2, but um, I was actually looking into doing some Sims, and I'm going to have to do a little bit of, of uh, work on that, because for some reason, all of a sudden, the Sims 3 has totally messed up my graphic settings on my computer. Um, put it into some kind of a state where everything is fuzzy and overly enlarged. And I'm not sure what caused it. And I can't seem to find the settings to fix it. So once I've resolved that, though, I think we're going to go back to The Sims 3. And that's another thing I'd love to hear from you in the credits. Would you like to see the, hear The Sims 3, or would you rather stick with the House Flipper games? Let's pick a bed for this bedroom. Furniture, bedroom, beds. I want something big. I don't want to use the um, new stuff that they just added. It's nice, but I, I'm already getting a little bit bored with it. We want a big double bed. That was not bad. I don't know. One of my favorites, although I don't know that it would. Oh, that's nice. Let's see what colors we have available here. Blackwood, we could go black. That would be easier. Okay, and the color here we want to be, I don't want gray, white, golden, 
that's kind of neat. Uh, details, we have golden, but I'm going to look for That's funny, there's green and blue, but not dark blue. I guess we'll go for blue. And the ornament can be black. And the bedding can be blue. And the primary color. I don't want dark gray. Brown, no. Beige, no. Black, absolutely not. Hmm. I don't like any of these choices. How about that? Rose weave. And the secondary color. I, I just want blue, for God's sake. Blue. There we go. And for the third color. That's funny, there's blue, and there's green, oh, let's use green, what the heck, that'll be different. For the mattress, I want white. Okay. Yeah. That's rather nice. We could actually cut off a little piece of this bedroom and make a, a private bath. Well, I'll think about that between now and uh, Tuesday. Let's see if there are, are any other parts that go with Astrid. Yes, there's a nightstand and there's a bench with pillows. Very nice. Yes, yes, yes. Light pillows or dark pillows? Go with the light pillows. And I think I chose black wood. So let's put that there. And we'll get, oh goodness, we'll get the nightstand. And as I said before, we're going to stick with the black wood. There's the front. I don't know why that was so. Okay, we need lamps for that. Um, table lamps, lights, standing lamps, table lamps, and no, I'm not going to go with the same one I used before. I think I'm going to go with this simple one. And we'll make it dark blue. And the wood is going to be Blackwood, because, because I said so. There's one. Yeah. There's two. Now we need a, um, a wardrobe. Bedroom. Wardrobes. Here we go. And what do we want? Hmm. Kind of like that one. But let's go with Blackwood. And the rest we're going to leave the same. Gloss is good. And 
and then we're going to go with that one. There. And what else do we need? Maybe a comfy chair? I don't know. Let's see. Um, bedside cabinets we did. Beds we did. Dressing table sets. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Let's go with that one. Except I do want black wood. And as I said, between now and Tuesday, I'm going to go through and I am going to, there was a pretty poof here. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to go with the iris. And black wood. And we'll make this blue. Or dark blue. Let's make it dark blue. Okay. As I said, between now and Tuesday, I'm going to go through and I'll put makeup on the table. Makeup and jewelry and all that kind of stuff on the table. And um, maybe, maybe we should have a bookcase here too. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry for the way it keeps sliding around um we need a bookcase a bookshelf and the one that we want actually i kind of like this idea what if we did that with black wood because black wood um Well, I like that idea of having it be over the bed like that. Might put a dresser here. Not sure. But all that stuff is to be done during the week. Over the weekend, I should say. I can't believe that we're on Thursday already. Or is today Tuesday? What day is today? Oh, yeah, today's Tuesday. So Thursday is when we're going to come back. Between now and Thursday, I'm going to do the decoration pass. And Thursday, we're going to do a complete tour and sell the place. So anything I said before, if it's different from what I just said, ignore it. I lose track of days sometimes. I, I have to admit it. Okay, just one final quick look out here. We've got the um, living room. We've got the kitchen. We've got a nice bathroom here. We've got um, a couch and a love seat. And then we've got this hallway, which I have to paint. Yes, I know. And an office. And. And a bedroom. Again, needs decorations. Paintings. Photographs, whatever. Um, actually, some photographs on the. Um, oh, goodness, my brain is not working on the uh, on this table here would be nice and let's see all 
mind. Nightstand. Yeah, vanity table. We're going to maybe put a picture here and maybe maybe one over here. I don't know. Anyway, you're going to have to trust me to do some decorating. And as I said, on Thursday when we come back, I am going to have finished all of the apartments in this building, finished decorating all of the interiors. I may make a final decorating pass in the restaurant. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But that was apartment one on the first floor. And we'll come outside here. Oh, it's getting dark or just getting light. Not sure which. Hmm. Over here, we've got a stage. I'm thinking maybe I should do something besides just plain white for that. Maybe ma make it match the stage. Actually, a suggestion would be good. If sometime between today and tomorrow, we could get some suggestions on things you'd like to see. How about the roses? Do you want them all red? Do you want some other colors mixed in? Um, we need more fountains, do we? Um, it's all up to you. I love these little statues, these little dragons. I like dragons a lot. And this is the restaurant. Just refreshing your memory a little bit. The kitchen for the restaurant. The upstairs for the restaurant. Ooh. This is the upstairs. And we've got a little balcony out here. And boy, is it dark. So I guess it was getting dark, not getting light. I had temporarily turned off the day-night cycle in this game because it was more fun to actually have daylight outside all the time. But uh, it's back to game time. So in, in the real world, well, it's actually about the same because it's very early in the morning where I am. But that is kind of it for today. Um, I'd like to remind you that it costs nothing to subscribe to this channel, and it would help me a lot. The more subscribers we get, the more likely it is that other people will see this channel. And yes, I really, oh, can't go that way. I really would like to get I really would like to get to 500 subscribers by the end of this year. That's my initial goal. And uh don't forget as we're going through on Thursday before selling this property that the owls seem to have found me again. So keep your eyes open and let me know where you see them. Let me know how many you see. In the meantime, have a good week. And I will see you again on Thursday. Goodbye for now. Hey folks, Allie here. I'd like to remind you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Like this video. Share it with your friends and make comments. All those things help other people see this channel. So thank you very much.